What's going on, everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFollows.com, recapping the news. And again, we got some exclusive details for you guys. But before I get into things, like always, greatly appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe by hitting the button below. Now, as for the exclusive details, we have the Air Jordan 11 Neapolitan releasing holiday 2023. This is the second Air Jordan 11 releasing. This will be a women's exclusive, but there's a lot more details later on in the video. As well, there's a pretty big important update on the Air Jordan 12 Cherry, and we got a lot more from Jordan brand. Also featured in this video is a ton from Nike, and now without wasting too much more of your time, let's jump into the news. Nike Sportswear will introduce a new slip-on model known as the ISPA Universal. There's two colorways releasing, one is known as Natural, and the other pair is known as Mink Brown. Right off the bat, this shoe reminds me a lot of the Yeezy Foam Runner, not necessarily the look, the build, just what Nike is trying to achieve here. But to go over the shoe, it features a one-piece foam build, along with perforations on the forefoot, and then we have Nike ISPA logo stamped on the cork insoles. Finishing the look is a solid foam rubber sole. Now the mink brown pair, that has a little bit more of a design to it, where the natural is just a solid color. And currently, we don't have a release date for the two, but they are expected to debut spring 2023, and the retail price will be 80 each. Premium Goods recently released their Nike Air Force One Low. One pair is known as the Sophia. The other pair is known as the Bella. Now, they released in stores on January 20th. However, if you weren't able to grab them from Premium Goods, they will debut on the Sneakers app on January 31st. The retail price will be $150 each. I know somebody asked me about this shoe in the comment section on one of the previous videos. This is the Nike Air Max Penny 1 Tiger Stripes. I did feature them in a prior video as well. The question was asked if I knew when they would release, and for those that want to purchase, they will debut on February 2nd. So far, I know that Nike.com will have them. And the retail price is $190, which again, I don't know why the prices for penny signature shoes have gone up so much. I know there is inflation, but it just seems really high. And again, this is another shoe, if you're patient, more than likely it'll go on sale. And that's not because it's a bad shoe. It's just there really isn't much hype for them. But I do know there are some people that do want them. But if it was me that was going after them, I would just be patient. We saw the Nike Terminator High return in 2022, and we'll see more colorways debut this year. However, what Nike Sportswear will release a ton of colorways of is the Nike Terminator Low. We now have a first look at the Michigan pair, which features a university gold, navy, and white colorway. Constructed with the usual leather, gold lands on the base, and then we have navy on the overlays, swoosh, liner, laces, eye stay, and the bold Nike branding on the hill. Other details includes a white midsole and a navy rubber outsole. No release date for this pair. More than likely, it's going to debut sometime in spring, and currently we don't know of the retail price. Nike Sportswear is connecting with Serena Williams' design crew, also known as SWDC, to release this Air More Up Tempo. The shoes feature a dark obsidian, summit white, and space purple colorway. Going over the shoes, they feature denim across the upper along with exposed vault stitching throughout. The pair also has a rib tongue, rope laces, and a small purple label on the lateral side, kind of like what we see on off-white releases. And the pair also comes with a second set of laces. Currently, no release date. However, the retail price is expected to be 175 during fall 2023, Nike will release the Air Force One Low, known as Rubik's Cube. Now, to my knowledge, this isn't a collaboration. It'll just be inspired by the toy. And the actual name is Stop Playing Around. Now, what you're looking at is a mock-up, but the shoes feature shades of red, blue, yellow, and green. And they're expected to feature mismatched colors on the lateral and medial sides. Other details includes a white midsole and a black rubber outsole. So fall 2023 is when they're expected to release and the retail price will be 130. 
When it comes to dunks, I don't traditionally go after the regular dunks. I like SBs, and that's just because of the build, the padded tongue, and the overall extra padding. However, this shoe I actually really like, and it's known as the Dunk Low Premium Team Red. So overall, the shoes have a vintage makeover, and they come dressed in a white Team Red and coconut milk colorway. Utilizing leather throughout, the shoes also come with a rib liner, and then we have Team Red on the overlays, which is wrinkled in certain areas and also lacks any glossy finish, which helps in the overall aged look. Other details includes coconut milk on the midsole, and then a red rubber outsole. No release date for this pair. They'll probably debut in a couple months, give or take, maybe less than that. And the resale price will be 120 There's going to be a ton of different sneaker options from Nike celebrating Valentine's Day. And one of those is the Nike Dunk Low Yellow Heart. This isn't as bright or flashy as the other pairs. And to go over the shoes, they feature white tumble leather across the upper. And then we have smooth leather on the overlays. Cell lands on the swoosh logos and the heel tabs. And then highlighting the pair, we have a yellow heart logo on the lateral side, which has a mini swoosh within it. Other details includes yellow on the branding and a two-tone rubber outsole. Now, we don't have a release date again, nor do we know of a retail price, but the shoes are expected to debut in February, but it's possible we could see some delays, so I wouldn't be surprised if they drop actually in March or even April. I remember when this model originally released back around 2014, there was a ton of hype for the shoes. I don't know if it's going to be the same way now, but this is the Nike Zoom Vapor AJ3. Originally, this was Roger Federer's shoe, and it was known as the Nike Zoom Vapor Tour RF, but I believe he is no longer with Nike. And for this particular colorway, they were being called True Blue at first, but the actual shade is Racer Blue. Now, I'm showcasing them once again just because we do have official photos. So I wanted to give you that better look. And the specific colorway is white, racer blue, black, and dark gray. So if this is something you're interested in buying, April 17th is the release date and the retail price will be 180. Official photos have landed of this Nike SB Dunk Low. They have actually had a few different nicknames. Some are calling them Midnight Navy. Some are calling them Desert Ochre. And that is just due to the colorway. So just to let you know the official colorway, it's Midnight Navy. Desert Ochre, Cell, Green Abyss, and Black. The shoes feature a split design. We have tan across the toe and the tongue label. And then Midnight Navy wraps most of the upper. They also come with different materials. For example, we have suede and textile. And they also feature a stash pocket. At the time of recording this, this shoe is expected to release sometime in April. However, that isn't confirmed. And the retail price will be 110 for fall 2023, we're going to have several Air Max 1 releases. One of them is known as Fuchsia Dream. Now, we don't know the specific colorway other than Fuchsia Dream, but this pair features OG color blocking. Highlighted with white on the base and gray overlays, Fuchsia lands on the swoosh, mudguard, top eyelet, Nike Air on the hill, and on the toe cap. Finishing the look as a white midsole and a mostly black rubber outsole. Unfortunately, we don't have a specific release date, but they are expected to debut in fall 2023. As most of you probably guessed, this is a women's release, and the retail price will be $140. Another Air Max 1 releasing later this year is the Air Max 1 known as Tan Lines. This is a women's exclusive. Now, if you're wondering why this image might look a little bit different, this is actually what retailers receive from Nike when they're doing their spending for the upcoming seasons, what they're depending on buying and things like that. Now, these type of photos aren't available for every shoe, and I've seen these quite a bit. I don't ever use them just because I don't want to get whoever sent them to me in trouble in case something pops up. There might be some sort of tag that I don't see on the surface, but I didn't leak this, so that's why I'm showcasing it. And the shoes feature a grain, burnt sunrise, plum fog, violet dust, and deep royal blue colorway. Constructed with premium materials, this pair features a gradient fade that expands onto the midsole. The shoes also come with an extra set of laces and a gum rubber outsole. Also dropping is a matching Air Force One, but photos of that have yet to leak. This pair will debut sometime during fall. Unfortunately, we don't have a release date, and the retail price will be 180 
Also releasing in women's sizing is the Air Max One Safi. I believe that's how you pronounce it. It's basically a combination of soft vinyl. And the inspiration for the shoe comes from vinyl collectible toys that are popular in Japan. The shoes feature a cell, metallic silver, siren red, sundial, guava ice, and barely green colorway. Again, the shoes will have gradient areas throughout as well as silver on the swoosh. There's also a mini swoosh by the toe and I believe that's supposed to be an eye. It's kind of hard to tell from the catalog scan or I should say the product photos that are sent out to retailers. They're also expected to feature glow in the dark detailing and unfortunately I don't have an image of this but it said that they'll have a graphic on the liner which pays tribute to the original Air Max 1 poster. Fall 2023 is when this pair is expected to release and the retail price will be 160. Although not confirmed, it looks like the Nike Air Zoom Generation Purple Suede aka Court Purple will finally release to the public. LeBron James was seen wearing the shoe during Summer League 2018 and they were once a player exclusive of course, but now it's rumored that to celebrate the 20th anniversary of the Air Zoom Generation, the shoe will be available at retailers. So the pair features premium suede across the upper which is dipped in court purple. The pair also features tonel branding throughout, chrome detailing on the heel, and then we have a semi-translucent rubber outsole. A lot of people wanted this shoe to release when they initially seen them. Back in 2018 and in 2019 there was some rumors that they were going to release. Nothing was obviously confirmed at that time, just people talking. But now it's rumored that they're going to drop sometime this summer and the retail price will be $190. Once I get confirmation on this, I'll make sure to let you guys know. We got an upcoming Air Jordan 1 low that will be a grade school exclusive or what's being said to be a grade school exclusive. There is one detail that I found a little bit interesting, but the shoes are inspired by the Black Cat. Now, for those that don't know, Michael Jordan's nickname is Black Cat, so that's where the inspiration comes from. And they come dressed in a vault black and white colorway. Now, what I noticed about the shoes, and I'm sure everyone else has, is that it actually features Nike Air branding on the tongue and insoles. Now, usually when it's a grade school exclusive, I don't think many times, now I might be wrong on this, that grade school exclusives don't release with Nike Air branding when it comes to the Air Jordan 1. Usually it's just a regular low or a regular mid. I know we had an Air Jordan 1 High OG Valentine's Day debut with Nike Air branding, but I believe that went to a seven and a half. Why? I'm not positive on that. So maybe this will release in bigger sizes as well. I don't have confirmation on that. I'm just throwing that out there. So to go over the pair, they feature volts across the base. And then we have claw marks on the lateral side by the ankle. Also, the swoosh is formed by claw marks. Black then lands on the overlays. And the shoes also come with a black cat hang tag. Other details includes a white midsole and a vault rubber outsole. So expected to debut summer 2023 and the retail price is 95. That of course is in grade school sizing. Since the Air Jordan 1 mid and the Air Jordan 1 low are sought after more these days than previous times. I'm going to start including them in upcoming videos. Not every single one just because there's so many of them releasing. I don't include every single dunk as well because again there's a ton of them dropping. But I try to give the ones that people might gravitate towards or think are a little bit flashy some shine in the videos of course. And here we have one known as the Wheat and Watermelon. So this is an Air Jordan 1 mid of course and it comes dressed in a wheat lucky green watermelon in white colorway. Now originally this was expected to be a grade school exclusive but they will actually debut in adult sizing as well. So going over the pair they feature mesh, suede, and leather. We have wheat suede on the overlays and then green on the base, toe, tongue, and collar. Adding to the watermelon vibes we have pink on the swoosh logos and the liner. Other details includes a white midsole and a green rubber outsole. Again we don't have a release date for the shoe. In previous years, the Jordan 1 Mid typically didn't have a release date. Whenever retailers got them in, they just put them out there, made them available. But recently, they've been having release dates. So down the line, when a release date is available, I'll make sure to let you guys know if you're interested. And the retail price will be $125. We also have official photos of the Air Jordan 1 Low Aquatone. When photos originally leaked, I believe that many thought this was going to be a grade school exclusive. That isn't going to be the case. 
They also will debut in adult sizing, and the shoes feature an Aquatone, Concord, Light Bone, Celestial Gold, and White Colorway. So I believe this is another pair that pays tribute to the Air Jordan 8, which celebrates its 30th anniversary this year. Going over the shoes, they feature a mixture of materials. We have suede on the overlays done in light bone, and then aqua tone runs across the base, toe, tongue, and liner. Next, we have purple on the swoosh logos, and then finishing the look is a white midsole and an aqua rubber outsole. Again, no release date for this shoe. More than likely, we will have one available. Like I mentioned, for the Air Jordan 1 mid, we used to not get release dates for the mids or the lows, unless it was an OG for the lows. So more on that soon, and the retail price will be 120. There's been a couple of Air Jordan releases that the release date has moved around quite a bit for. First up to talk about is the Air Jordan 6 Cool Gray. Originally, this pair was expected to debut on February 4th, and then Jordan brand moved it to April 19th. They were pushed back a little over two months, but now we have a new release date, which is February 25th. The retail price will be 200 and I have seen some people like them. I don't think there's a ton of hype, and with the amount of releases dropping in February, I don't see this one selling out anytime soon. So, in my opinion, this is a shoe that's going to go on sale. So, if you can be patient, I definitely would hold off on them. In my opinion, this shoe is really nice, and it's the Air Jordan 5 Aqua. This is also another pair that the release date has moved around quite a bit for. Initially, the release date was January 21st, and then the release date was delayed to sometime in April. I don't remember the exact date, but now they've been moved up, and the new release date is February 4th, so it's actually not that far away. But there is a few things I wanted to go over. First up is that this shoe is dedicated to the Air Jordan 8, specifically the Air Jordan 8 Aqua. Like I mentioned early on, the Air Jordan 8 is celebrating its 30th anniversary this year. Now, to me, I feel that they should have gave it to Chris Paul because this shoe resembles that of Chris Paul's Air Jordan 5 PE when he played for the New Orleans Hornets. The only thing it's lacking is the number three on this side. Now, there's two shoes that have been moved forward and they both will drop in February. This kind of worries me a little bit because February is a packed month. We have a ton of stuff. Off the top of my head, we have the Air Jordan 1 High 85 in black and white. We have the Air Jordan 13 Playoffs. We also have the Air Jordan 4 SC Craft. There's a lot more. So with the amount of releases coming in February, it makes me kind of wonder if any of these that we really want will get pushed back. For example, the Playoff 13s or the Air Jordan 1 High 85 in black and white. I hope that's not the case. But again, I wouldn't be surprised if that happens. Either way, if it does, I'll make sure to update you guys in a following news video. Official photos recently leaked of the Union Air Jordan KO1 Low in the second colorway. This pair is known as leather because that's what it features. Now, prior to this, we saw a few photos, so this is obviously our best look yet, and it also gives us a detailed look. Traditionally, the Air Jordan 1 KO is constructed with canvas, but the low top, in this case, will come with leather as well as suede on the overlays. Now, there is a second colorway releasing that will feature canvas, and it looks like this shoe will actually come with two sets of swooshes, one in midnight navy, the other one in green. As you may know, the shoes feature removable swooshes, and once the swoosh is removed, we have Union branding repeated. They also come with a small Union LA label on the sides, co-branding on the insoles, and features special packaging. So the expected release date for the shoes is January 27th. So we have this one, which is known as Cell. The other one is being called just simply White. Both pairs are expected to drop on January 27th. The retail price will be 150. I know in previous videos, I showcased the Air Jordan 1 High OG Lucky Green, AKA Celtics quite a bit, but I don't think I actually showed on feet photos. And recently those photos were put out. So I wanted to share that with you guys. And for those that don't know, this is kind of a tribute shoe to the 2009 DMP pack. However, the 2009 pair had a Jumpman on the tongue. And of course, the 2023 version will feature Nike Air. This is an incredibly nice shoe. I'm a huge fan of them. It seems that a lot of people are as well. I think this shoe has the possibility to do well in stores. Now, I don't know if it's going to sell out. I don't want to say it will because honestly, I don't know. But 
from what I can tell from what people are talking about online, aside from the Air Jordan 1 High 85 in black and white, this might be one of the first shoes that does the best when it comes to the Jordan 1. And what I mean by do the best, I just mean by people buying them, potentially selling out. Again, I don't know for sure. So I just wanted to share the photos with you and a little bit of the information, but giving you the release details, if you don't know, they drop on April 15th and the retail price will be 150. Also, they will be available in full family sizing. We also received on feet photos of the Air Jordan 2 Cool Gray. This is another shoe that will release in women's sizing, but it seems that a lot of men want to buy them as well. Now, I did try to find out in time for this video if they would be available in extended women's sizing. Unfortunately, I haven't heard back yet. So probably when I drop the next video or maybe the one after that, I'll have that information because I'm going to drop two videos this week pretty close together. I'm just giving you a heads up on that right now. The shoes feature a cool gray, ice blue, and white colorway. At first, I thought the shoes were okay. This is another pair that has grown on me quite a bit. I think the materials and the color combination, the blocking, all that is done nicely. And for those that are interested in buying, May 4th is the current expected release date and the retail price will be $175. I probably should have included this shoe in the previous video. Unfortunately, I was editing it when photos came out, so I said I would put it in the following video. This is the Air Jordan 1 High OG washed pink. So we received a first look recently and right off the bat, this is a women's release. They will be available in women's sizing, preschool, and toddler. Now, as far as the availability on extended women's sizing, I don't have that information just yet. But the shoes feature an atmosphere, white, muslin, and cell color combination. The overall build is similar to that of the 2021 Hyper Royal release, as well as the Turbo Green. Constructed with leather on the base, we have a washed out pink on the overlays. Next, Muslin hits the collars, swoosh logos, and Nike Air branding on the tongue. Finishing the look is an aged midsole and a pink rubber outsole. In my opinion, these are better than the Air Jordan 1 High OG Washed Heritage or known as Washed Black. I feel that that shoe is just simple. This one, it just looks better in my opinion. Of course, that's just my opinion. Like always, let me know yours down in the comment section below. And as for the current release details, April 22nd is when they're expected to debut and the retail price will be 180. I know a lot of people have been commenting on the previous video, where is the Air Jordan 12 Cherry? I didn't feature it in the previous video because I actually talked about it in one of the videos I did early on in the month because that's when rumors broke. So I didn't forget about it. It just was featured in another video. And unless I have an update on the shoe, or there's something going around about it, maybe a release date change, I won't feature it again. But I'm going to talk about the Air Jordan 12 Cherry in this video for an important reason. Now, the rumors for the return came out on January 9th. At that time, I stated it was a rumor. A lot of others stated it was a rumor as well, just because we didn't have confirmation. It was coming from a source that usually gets stuff right. He does get a lot of information, but unless I hear it from my reliable source, I'm really reluctant to say it's confirmed. So the reasoning why I'm talking about them again in this video is I got word from my source and they actually are confirmed. So for those that were a bit hesitant on this news, good news, they are going to drop this holiday season. Now we last saw the pair release in 2009. Prior to that, it was in 1997. This is an OG colorway. And for years, a lot of people have been asking for the shoe to return. I don't understand why they didn't bring them out sooner, but I'm happy that they're going to release. Now, more than likely, this shoe will be available in full family sizing, although that isn't confirmed just yet. And another thing I can't confirm yet is the retail price. More than likely, it will be 210 This holiday season, there's a lot of releases coming and we don't even have them all. But make sure to subscribe to the channel because we got some more announcements coming this week. As most of you know, each year Jordan brand not only releases an Air Jordan 11 in full family sizing, but they also drop the Air Jordan 11 for women. From my sources, I can confirm to you guys that the Air Jordan 11 Neapolitan will debut holiday 2023. Now, first up, I want to say that the images used are simply mock-ups. We don't know actually how it's going to look. All I was given was the information. So thanks to Z Sneakerhead Z, 
we teamed up once again and put together two examples of what the shoes could look like. Obviously, the color blocking, it gives the shoe a drastically different look. I feel that either one might look great. And when I received this information from my source, they said that the color blocking would resemble that of the Air Jordan 3 Neapolitan, aka Atmosphere. I'll have an image up on the screen so you know how that shoe looks. So if that is the case, then we can expect a colorway like white, atmosphere, and dark mocha. And although it's a Photoshop of the image, I don't want to say this is confirmed, but one of our sources actually told us that the pair with brown patent leather is somewhat close. Now, a lot of things can change as far as the look. I've even seen images straight from Jordan brand of a shoe, and they just simply redo the whole thing by the time we get a first look. If I could share those images with you guys without getting people in trouble, I 100% I would. So even though I'm giving you this information and that the source did say that it would look somewhat like this, this is close, we could still see something totally different. But what you can count on is that a women's Neapolitan Air Jordan 11 will debut this holiday season and the retail price will be 225. So let me know what you think. If Jordan Brand releases one or the other of these Photoshops, would you buy? And is there a version of the Photoshop we made that you like better? And that's going to do it for this video. Again, like always, I appreciate you guys for watching. And if you have a second and haven't done so already, appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe by hitting the button below. This is going to be another two upload week. We might actually get the second video a lot sooner then expected there might just be a one day break and then we're dropping a new video. It's going to be a special celebratory video with some exclusive information, of course, for you guys. So if you're not subscribed, make sure to do so. And if you don't have the notification bell hit, make sure to turn that on as well. But before I sign out, let me know what you liked or disliked down in the comment section below. If you have any questions, I'm here to answer that for you. Again, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to sneakerfiles.com. And if you haven't yet, Make sure to subscribe.